Hello everyone, Dead Monkey here. Um, I'm gonna do that video on my boars unit now. Um, uh, the I have it on a M82A1, 50 BMG semi-automatic Barrett rifle. Um, I have mine mounted on a so everybody knows it's an eight and a half by 25 50 millimeter objective lens loophole Mark IV. With the the hash mark uh, ranging on the, the crosshairs, it's not an illuminated receptacle or an, an illuminated scope. Um, now the bores will accept those now. They have a new version out of the bores out that will accept those. Um, if you want to know the exact model, if you have an illuminated scope, uh, check out Barrett's website and match up your scope with the the bore system that you'll need for that the the objective for the back there your uh, illumination but anyway um when i bought mine mine came with the scope uh the, i bought it from uh, shriver gun sales in, in rockford illinois i think that's where he's at i'd have to look at his his uh card again um where is it at um force forest in illinois my fault forest in illinois is where's he where he's at uh, Shriver Gun Sales. He's a uh, licensed bear dealer. But anyway, uh, I wanted to go through uh, some of the the specs on the bores here, and I've got my computer set up next to the gun here. Move that camera a little bit there. Um, and I'll, there's a reason for that. I'll show you that in a minute. When you first buy your bore system, if you just buy the bores by itself, it will come with. Um, you'll get uh, instructions. This here, you'll get. Uh, USB cable. You will get um, a little package of Loctite for the, the, the bolts for the um, the screws and the bolts. You will get a little tool pouch that has a couple of Allen wrenches in it for the the actual bolts for the the scope. Two of them, a small one and a, and a star tor torx bit, so you can reach into the the top here and get the deep end. Part there, and what bores will do is it will take the place of your top uh, knob on your uh, scope, the uh, elevation knob. It takes the place of that, so your elevation knob will be completely off of your scope. Here's mine. I keep everything in a, in a plastic baggie so I know where it's at. Here's my uh, loophole scope knob for the top, the elevation knob. You won't need that anymore. Well, you will if you ever take your bores off or sell it or whatever. But uh. I kept mine. I keep I keep it in the bag there, just in case. You never know. But uh, what the bores does is 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 for the people that don't know, uh, it's a ballistic computer coupled to your rifle scope. It's Barrett bore stands for Barrett's Optics Ranging System. And what that is is uh, once you have your rifle zeroed at 100 yards, this little little box up here. I know it doesn't look like much. I'm gonna move the camera here real quick. That right there is your computer, right there, and it does more than and does a few things. Um, what it does after you zero your rifle in at 100 yards, everything after that, this will take over. Um, so I have my rifle zeroed at 100 yards. I have the elevation knob, knobs turned it. Uh, once you zero it at 100 yards, that's when you do the knobs, just like on any other scope. You gotta zero your your turrets. So you pop your turret off, move the Move to the left or the right or the left hash mark on the the system, and you put your zero down. It's just like I said, it's just like any other scope. Now, um, Boris comes with an illumination. I'm gonna zoom the camera in a little bit, and see if I can get it to show up on the camera. You go in. All right, and I'll go through all this in a second here. All right, there's that. All right, this right here is the cartridge that I'm using. The numbers here on this side are the cartridge that I'm using. It's an M33. Uh, BC, which is uh, a 50 caliber round. Uh, the muzzle velocity for this particular number here on this is uh, 2,750 feet per second. Once you know the muzzle velocity and the the grain of the bullet weight is uh, 661 grains, as there are the bullets that I'm using. And you go into Barrett's uh, computer uh, software that you they'll give you a disc also I'm sorry I forgot to show the disc it's uh, put away but then you download your Barrett software onto here let me show you this real quick I'm gonna zoom back out 
once you know your muzzle velocity, your cartridge, whether it's a 223 or uh, a 50 BMG round, you come in here to Bores software, you click onto that. And it'll come up with Barrett, and it'll give you a, a menu table here. I'm going to uh, maximize this here. All right, there's your ballistic coefficients. All right, the first, these are just uh, preloaded. There's 100 different preloaded uh, ballistic tables in the end of boards when you first get it. That, uh, it, that isn't where it stops, though. Um, I'm using a preloaded one because it just happened to suit uh, the rounds that I was using. It's actually Barrett's ammo. So I come down here to found, uh, here's your muzzle velocity. It goes 20, come down to 2,750 feet per second. Um, scope height is 3 inches. Sight zero range is 100 yards or 100 meters, whichever you want to use. It depends on what, where you're at or you can use either one. The ballistic coefficient of this particular round is uh, 0.60. Um, it's a, it's a, Scope units are uh, one quarter minute per click, so four clicks gives you a full minute, which is all changed. You can change all of that in the computer system software, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, it's a 661 grain bullet. It's a caliber 50, which is actually in their ballistic software. It's actually a it's a 51, but you come down and you find okay the M33 BC which I have in there, M33BC is the round that I wanted to use for. So I, I found the cartridge. You go to cartridge select on your bore system in the in the menu. It's very easy to use. Um, well once you first get this you'll want to go in and you'll have to calibrate the bores to your scope. It tells you anytime you lose power to your bore system you'll want to calibrate it to your scope. But I, I, don't, I do not store my battery in here because Barrett will not cover if your battery corrodes the inside of the bore system. It's not covered under the warranty, so Barrett will not replace that. So when I'm storing my, my gun in my safe, it's uh, the battery's out of it. But I don't calibrate it every time. I just I just know it's on zero at 100 yards where it's at now. And I know that when I turn it back on, it'll say M33BC, which is 2,750 200, feet per second. Cartridge that I selected before for my zero and it'll say 100 yards on it. Um, this also has a built-in range finder. I'm not going to go into that or anything but uh, I, it, it'll show you. But now that I have the zeroed at 100 yards, um, lost my train of thought, um, anything after that this will take over. I can uh, see it's zeroed at 100 yards. Say I have a target at 500 yards. I'm going to see if I can get that a little bit better picture on that number up there. Sorry about this if it goes out of focus too much. As you see, I've got the illumination turned on right now. It's it's a, it's a timed illumination, so it may shut off on you. So say I have a target out at, mm, I don't know, we'll say 500 yards. I will dial this, the elevation turret, till it reads 500 yards. All right, well, it's 501. It's not exactly 500 because of... Uh, if it went like every click was one number on this, you'd run out of elevation on your your scope. I'm sorry about that. I made it go out of out of focus. Okay, so now the the elevation set at a 500 yard target. Now all I have to worry about is the wind, left or right on the wind, because that's one thing it won't do is is judge your wind for you. You have to do that yourself. You have to do your part too when you're still shooting. This just makes it a little bit easier, so you're not sitting there doing calculations. You can get more rounds downrange faster. Sorry about the focus on that. I moved my hand by the camera. Um, now say I have a target at, well I don't know, I'm going to move it back a little bit because it's staying out of focus there. Sorry about that guys. Focus, there we go. It's on an automatic focus thing. I don't have, I'm not uh, rich enough to buy an expensive camera. There, I could find a camera just as expensive as the rifle you're looking at. But I'm not going to go that far. I can't shoot the camera. Well yeah, I guess I could shoot the camera. Put it out on the target range. But anyways, if I, I set it at 500 yards now. Okay, say I have another target out at 1,000, 1,100 yards. I keep on dialing up until I read 1,100 yards on the readout. There, whoops. 
went a little too far. 1100 yards. So there, now it's the elevation on the scope dialed at 1100 yards. For this partic the particular bullets that I'm using in this gun right now, it's set for 1100. It's set for that particular round. Now, say you're a reloader and you reload your rounds. I'm going to have to stop it here. <laughs>